Greetings. This week, we are taking a few moments every day to consider creation, God and creation. And today, I want to address this issue. One, one of the ways we address this issue, is there a God, is by looking at this basic reasoning of cause and effect. The Bible tells us in Colossians 1, verses 16 and 17, For by Him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through Him and for Him, and He is before all things, and in Him all things consist. So the Bible is telling us that God is a reason for everything, or all of creation. Now, scientists, and when I say scientists, I, there are of course Christians who are scientists, but I'm talking about atheists, will ask this question. You know, how do you know there is a God? Have you seen God? And of course we haven't seen God, but here's the response. One of the many responses that we can give when people question us, about the existence of God. And it has to do with cause and effect. You cannot have an effect without a cause. A simple example, you know, if you see a ball flying into your room, you're not going to accept when somebody says, well, it just happened. No, there's a cause. Somebody threw it or somebody hit it. That's why the ball came flying into your room where you were, you would not accept the explanation that it just happened. Why? Because we understand the simple logic, cause and effect. Every effect has to have a cause. And so science agrees and we all agree there is a universe. It's not illusion. It is there, real. So there is the effect. We are seeing the universe, the earth, all of creation. We also agree that it had a beginning. So way back in time, there's an expanding universe. So you go back in time, we have a point of beginning and origin. And so whatever had a beginning had a cause that birthed or caused everything to come into existence. The universe had a beginning, therefore the universe had a cause. And the universe could not have happened by chance because we won't ex accept the explanation that the ball just came by chance, just happened. No, there was a cause for this effect. So we're a simple logic. We see the grand effect, the huge universe, everything around us. There has to be a cause. And we say, God is the cause for this great grand universe. That's what the Bible says. Let's pray. Father, we look to you. We recognize you. We acknowledge you as creator God, the one who brought all things into existence, that you are God before all things. All things came through you and they came for you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.